I'd like to show you here a, a trick we can use using the pen tool and some layer tricks to uh, create a new shot out of an environmental shot. If we look here at this uh, environmental product shot of this wine bottle, the client has then later asked about, uh, hey, do, do we have any regular product shots of this wine bottle on, say, like a white background? Uh, and in this scenario, we, we did not. We were on location, um, didn't have any white sweeps or anything we could put this on. Uh, but luckily, the lighting was pretty consistent with what I would probably do if I was photographing this on some sort of a white background. So I was able to take this shot and create that shot for them. And this is how we did that. First thing I want to do is I want to grab my pen tool and get over to my paths palette. We need a good selection of this particular wine bottle. So I'm going to go ahead and zoom right in on it. And let's go ahead and get started with placing a pen path on here. And I'm, I'm basically doing what I can to, to place my pen points here in spots that uh, make the most sense for the sorts of transitions that I'm creating with, with the handlebars here. Back out a little bit and take it on down the line here. A little bit of a kind of curvature right here in the neck and a little bit of a mini blip right there. I come down here just before the transition. I like to think of these transitions sort of like a skateboard ramp and I'll place a point right at the base of it and then I'll find the spot where it gets out of the transition and starts to get flat again and that's where I place my next point. And I come on down the line here, moving my way with the pen tool around this object. Toggling between the command key and the option key. I'm holding the command key when I want to have control over the anchor point and then I hold the option Alt key when I want to turn this from a pen tool into the handlebar sort of direct selection carrot there. Place another point down in here and another one down here. It's looking to be a little bit too much of a gap in there so I'm going to use the command key to move that anchor point and the command key here to move this anchor point in a little closer. Adjust the handlebars between those points. See the detail here, you get a little bit of a, there's a little bit of a curve in the, the label here. It's just a little anomaly. Keep clicking. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go all the way around this product with the pen tool. Take a nice tight selection around it. Great, now that I've got this selection, you can see over here on my paths palette, it's just a temporary file called a work path. If I want to be able to use it more than once, I'm going to double click this and convert it here, save it as a real path. I can command click this path and you'll see it converts that into a nice uh, selection ants here for me. And now what I need to do is back on my background, I'm going to go ahead and let's modify the selection a little bit. I don't want it to be too hard of an edge, so I'll give it a half pixel feather. And I'm going to go to Layer, New, Layer via Copy, which is Command-J. And I'm going to cut that out onto its own layer. I'll do that twice here. On this middle layer, I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to fill that thing with, whoops, white. There we go. So now it's sitting on our nice white background. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to double this bottle file up again. And I'm going to grab this one that's underneath. And we'll go here, Edit, transform and I'm going to flip it on the vertical axis. Grab my move tool holding shift to keep it in line. You can see the smart guys that come up and I'm going to drag this bottle basically straight down underneath itself and I'm going to drop its opacity to something about 15 percent. Looking good there. And I'll go ahead and maybe bring it down a little way, something like that. That's looking pretty good. So this is, you know, a way that you can basically take a file, uh, you know, something that's shot in an environment and drop it into a white background. Uh, it's nice because it, it retains the pen path here so that if a, another production artist taking this file needed to pick this item up off of this white background, put it anywhere else 
in a file that they'd be able to do that. And you can see it retains all the same quality of the, the previous shot. I would probably take this file and make some other adjustments to it. I'd probably brighten it up a bit, take it out of that cellar environment, uh, kind of cool down some of the tones, brighten it up, add a little bit of contrast, things like that. Uh, probably take some of the warm reflections off of the edges here and generally clean it up and sharpen the file up. But basically taking what was originally a shot of this bottle in uh, an another environment altogether and providing to my client an option of them having it as if it was shot in studio with a clipping path all set and ready to go.